So now I am going to discuss about the volumetric analysis. I am going to discuss about the volumetric analysis. So in order to understand what exactly is the titration. Okay. Volumetric analysis. Volumetric analysis. So listen carefully. This is the basis for all the chemistry labs or experiments. This is a driving force because more than 90% of the experiment what you are going to perform in the engineering chemistry lab are related to volumetric analysis only. Right? So you should be well versed with volumetric analysis. The analysis which is used to the analysis which is used to determine the concentration of the substance present in one solution. The analysis which is used to determine the concentration of the substance present in one solution by chemically reacting it with the solution containing the substance of known concentration. That is, with the help of uh, the known concentration, you are going to determine the concentration of the unknown one. That analysis is nothing but volumetric analysis. Now, this process of chemically reacting the solution containing the substance of uh, unknown concentration with the solution containing the substance of known concentration is called as titration. Is called as titration. Is called as titration. Analysis is volumetric analysis and uh, the chemical reaction is titration. So coming again, what is volumetric analysis? The analysis which is used to, used to determine the concentration of the substance present in one solution by chemically reacting the solution with the solution with the no, no, no. that is volumetric analysis. And this process of uh, chemically reacting the substance whose concentration is unknown present in one solution with the substance whose concentration is known present in another solution is called as titration. Now let us see the terms involved in uh, volumetric analysis. The terms involved in volumetric analysis. The following terms involved in volumetric analysis. The first one is titrant. The substance whose concentration is known. The substance whose concentration is known is called as titrant. Next. Standard solution. Standard solution. The solution whose concentration is known. Don't be confused. The substance whose concentration is known is titrant and the solution whose concentration is known is standard solution. Now the next term is titrate. titrate. The substance whose concentration is unknown. The substance whose concentration is unknown is called titrate. Now in order to Recognize the end point of the titration. We need to add one external agent. That external agent is useful to recognize the end point of the titration. That is nothing but indicator. That is nothing but indicator. Now what is indicator? The substance which is used to recognize the end point of the titration is called as indicator. And the next term is end point. End point. And what is end point? The point at which titration stops. The point at which titration stops is called as end point. Now, let us discuss this volumetric analysis terms with the example. With example. So let us say that we are titrating the aqueous solution. 
with the aqueous uh, sodium hydroxide. Aqueous sodium hydroxide. <coughs> aqueous means solvent is water. Solvent is water. Now let us say that the concentration of this particular solution is known. With the help of the known concentration, we are going to determine the concentration of unknown. That is the volumetric analysis. And this process of chemically reacting the solution whose concentration is known with the solution whose concentration is unknown is called as titration, titration process. Now, among aqueous HCl and aqueous sodium hydroxide, which is the standard solution? Which is the standard solution? What is the standard solution? The solution whose concentration is known. NaOH, right? Because its concentration is known. So, with the help of known concentration, we are going to determine the unknown concentration. So, this is NaOH's standard solution. Now, what is the tight trend in this? What is the tight trend? NOH. Because what is tight trend? The substance whose concentration is known. And what is that substance whose concentration is known among the HCl and NOH? NOH. So NOH is tight trend. NOH is tight trend. And the substance whose concentration is unknown is tight trend. What is tight trend? I hope you have water. Yes. Volumetric analysis and the terms involved in volumetric analysis.